What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hiller here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods to give you guys my thoughts and opinions, and I'll leave them linked down in the description down below, so you two can go check them out if you are interested. Now, today we're going to be checking out a bunch of Wood Meadow Farms mods. Um, I'm hoping that once I get through the, these, that I can buy the mobile homes, um, because I've tried buying them, and it says I didn't have any room in my... Uh, shop so we're gonna try to get through these and then buy those um those because there's one that i really want to show off all right so anyway let's hop in with the ford first most of these are bucket trucks there's a, a work uh truck and then um and then a fire gator so we're gonna check those out customize so the only thing you can do is change the color on this i feel like most of them are gonna be white yeah, most of them around here are white, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll do that. Just plain old white. All right, so let's see what we can do. First off, we have lights. We have lights. We have brake lights. We have brake lights. Reverse lights. Blinkers. We have blinkers. Nice. Do we have a horn? Yep. And beacons. We do. Nice. Oh, and they, oh. Ooh, do we have any on for all? Oh. Oh, me likey. Alright. So let's, let's park over here. Alright. Pretty simple. Your... So, uh, right mouse button moves your bucket up and down. Or your arm up and down. Side to side, move it that way and then your left button moves it from side to side and then up like a that so so we can get oh we are all up in the power lines oh my bad there we go tear the same There we go. Oh, when we get out, it puts us up here. That's so cool. All right, so we can work on the power lines there. And then, yeah, okay, yeah. Anyway, all right. Help me. Help. Oh, there we go. Um, so pretty simple. There's nothing really fancy about it. It's just like a bucket truck. That's basically all you get, or a cherry picker, whatever you want to call it. So I'll give a vial vibe. Um, Basically, he just switched the bed from the, the little, little uh, rescue truck that he had, so not bad. All right, let's check out the next one. We're going to get all the bucket trucks out of the way first, and then we'll uh, look at the uh, the utility truck here. Oh, no, this one seems a bit beefy. We have lights. We do. We have lights in the back. We do. Brake lights, yes. Reverse lights, yes. Bacons. Well, we have bacons. Horn. All right. Oh wait, what can we do to this one? Still love that it puts us in the bucket. That's so cool. Customize main color. Do white again. Power source. Hydro Q Quebec. Okay. No logo. Oh, we'll just keep it power source. That's what the other one is. I wonder why the other one didn't get the options, but this one does. Let's turn on our bacons. I wonder if we can reach across from here. We'll do we'll try it. Alright. So this one has outriggers on it. Okay. That works. So let's There we go. There we go. We'll have we'll 
use this one to change the light bulb there. So we get out and we're in the bucket. That's so cool. I like that. Alright. And here on this one, pretty plain Jane. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll give. I guess we'll give it a 5 out of 5. It looks really, really good. Um, I've never seen quite one like this before, but, you know, here they're pretty plain Jane, so I, I'm not going to knock it for that. I do wish it had, like, some grill lights or something, some lights on the side, but it looks good. 5 out of 5. And let's move on to the last bucket truck. No, we have two more bucket trucks. Oh, this one's beefy. This is an off-roader. The tires on this thing compared to... The tires on this one compared to... Look at that. Compared to this one. <laughs> oh, this one goes off-road. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why I'm not spending much time, like, testing out trucks, because most of uh, Wood Meadow stuff is exactly the same. Um, like, the... the, the the handling and everything, they're pretty on par with each other, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I know they're all roughly the same. Customize that, yes. Now this one's bucket's a little bit different, so I'm interested to see how it works. This one, this one does have outriggers, alright, so we'll fold this bad boy out, and then we're going to see how this thing works. Oh, this is a big boy. Let's zoom out here. Can you take me higher? Do 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 to a place oh dang all right here oh this one's uh oh still about the same all right so yeah I mean five out of five it, it looks really, really good. I'm, I'm curious to know why this one has like the beefier tires. Oh, we didn't do the lights. Hold on. We do have lights, blinkers, reverse lights, brake lights, beacons. Nice. So yeah, give it a five out of five. Let's move on to the last one we have. Now this one's more common of like what you would see around here, I would say. Customize. White and white. So the only one that gave us different options would be the biggin. Ooh. That one did not like the bump. This one does have outriggers too. While I'm in the power line. Alright, so yeah, Cam 505, it's a beautiful truck, it works, uh, I don't really have any complaints. So let's move on to, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. I knew those were going to be roughly the same, they all work, um, but these are the two I was really looking forward to. Let's see what we can do for this one first. Customize, what can we do? Okay, so we can, again... Usually the the service trucks and stuff are all always white. Can we get a cat logo? Yeah. 
Yeah, I want the cat logo. Yep. Customize. Yes. Alright, so what can we do here? Do we have lights? We do. Horn? Reverse lights? Brake lights? Light lights? Oh, we have... Oh! All around work lights. Nice. And then we do have blinkers. Nice. Interior. No interior. Alright. So I want to see. Crane works. I just said, don't we have like outriggers here? I never have luck with this. I I never. Never have luck with it. Object too heavy. Does that have to be on haul? Let's We'll save our content. Alright, so do we have to... I swear I turn this off every single time and it comes right back on. Um, turn that off. Then we'll come in here. Turn this on. Do we have... Does that have to be on? Turn on service. Alright, now let's try it. No. So confused. So we can buy a tractor. See if this works. So let's spin it all the way around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. It's like I swear I constantly change this too. From M M M to
Alright, so that works. I'll give the service truck a 5 out of 5 because I have never had luck with these. I don't know why. It just never seems to work for me. Uh, I've seen other people do it. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I need a tow hook. We'll, we'll try that real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the tow hook still. I got the tow and chain. Let me see if that works. Snake. Okay, so can I now, no, alright, so yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that anymore. I'll give this uh, thing a 5 out of 5 though, because it works as a service truck, I just can't get the crane to work. Yeah, I don't have the mental capacity to work on it any further right now. So let's move on, uh, we'll do, this, this is our last one, we'll check this out, so this is a John Deere Gator. We have options for configuration standard, front weight, uh, protection one, protection two, four. What the? Is that a ball? Jesus. I, I protection two is all I need. Trelleborg. Uh, we definitely want the John Deere tires. Yep. Uh, design model one, model two, model three, model four, five. Six, seven, is this just like the one, the actual one? I think it is, yeah. So pretty much it's just a, a fire bed. Uh, my town has this set up, so this is what we're going to do. Beacon, yes. No. We don't want those additional lights, yes. Yes. Engine setup with the biggest one. Main color. We'll keep it green because my town does it, yeah. Customize, yes. Alright, so we can customize this. Forestry, no. No. And we'll keep it just like it is. Alright. Do you have a siren? Nice, all right. So, my biggest complaint is there's nothing, that this is just kind of floating here. Uh, see, all, in my town, they have one uh, just like this uh, that has uh, like a bar that comes up around the top here that has uh, attached to. That would have been nice to add because um, it feels like you kind of have to have like the cab or something uh, to make this look right. And I, I don't like it because that, that, this is how they, they have them around here. So. I'll give it a 5 out of 5, but I can't, because it, with the cab and all that, it would look great, but, yeah, without it, it just, mm, that sucks, but it's really nice, I really wish we had this for 17, uh, this model at least, because I would definitely use it, um, for my fire department, 
my my hometown because they have they have two gators. They have, I believe they have a a uh, dual rear wheel or dual axle, and then a single axle rear. Yeah. All right. We'll move on. Five out of five. Now let's see if we can do. I I want to get through those and see if we can buy these. So there's a new uh, trailer mod out from Wood Meadow Farms that has five six mobile home trailer styles nice and then actually has double wide so yes it does work all right i'm curious how these things work i made her the queen of my double wide trailer with the polyester curtains and the redwood fence What? Hold up. Now it works? What? What in the Sam? So that changed just for show. Basically. Okay, they're both attached to that. All right. I'm out here breaking stuff. All right. So I want to see how this works. Open cover. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Can we actually? No. Kind of. What in the same house? Okay. Uh, Alright. I mean, it's one. It's one trailer now. It's got. Two set front door. Uh, Alright. <laughs> it's pretty nice. I like it. That is. Yeah, all right. I'll give it a five out of five. It does look really, really good. I, 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 I thought for certain that this thing was gonna be like super jank. I mean, it's a little jank to have this and then this, and you still don't have collisions to walk up them, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's a cool role play mod. So we'll give it a five out of five for that. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Does help me out so very, very much. I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 mods files, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.